Hey guys, how are you? It's nice to see you again. Uh, I'm Eva, uh, I'm a personality and uh, talent development psychologist and uh, today I want to talk about uh, explanatory styles and about uh, reframing, how to change them. Because we have two explanatory styles and uh, one of them uh, can make you pretty miserable but the other one can make you actually feel great so i'm going to talk uh, about how this happens and uh, if you tend to have uh, rather uh, this negative explanatory style how to change that thanks to reframing how it actually works so what is explanatory style it's basically the way you think uh, the world around you works and the causes you uh, attribute to certain situations in your life. So basically, uh, the way you think about uh, you know, why are good or bad uh, things happening to you. Uh, and uh, well, actually ba based on your explanatory style you uh, might really decide if these things that are happening to you are positive or negative um, so explanatory style is basically about um, you know uh, explaining yourself why certain situation happened so for example imagine that you ask someone on a date and uh, that person said, well, no. So um, if you have a negative explanatory style, you tend to see uh, the reason why this person said no uh, as more negative. Uh, you know, so it might be something like, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm really a loser. Uh, no one will ever love me. I'm, this is extreme uh, example, but it might go to it. Uh, you might think that uh, you know you behave in a weird way. You can't be really uh, very natural when asking someone on a date, or that you are you know a hideous person. No one wants to go out out with. You know there are some pretty bad things uh, you can start thinking about yourself. Some pretty bad uh, scenarios uh, kind of piling in. And it's a huge black negative trap of crap. Um, on the other way, uh, if you have uh, this positive explanatory style, even when um, you know being rejected, um, when asking for a, on a date, um, uh, it might be actually um, viewed in okay well maybe not in a very positive way but not in such catastrophic i'm a loser no one will ever love me way um so you might um, think something like okay so maybe that's not the best time uh but um you know maybe if we stay friends and we get to, to know each other better then uh we'll um you know, we'll see and maybe the person will change uh, uh, her mind. Um, or you can think like, okay, so, uh, you know, it means that the person is not meant uh, for me and, uh, um, you know, somewhere down the road I will meet someone else and, uh, you know, this will be the person um, I you know, fall madly in love with and uh, you know we spend the rest of our lives together um, so you know that's basically uh, how the explanatory style works and you can see that it really um, depends on uh, you know which one you have because you can actually see the very same situation um, in a very positive way or, or also in a very negative way and you can actually I believe you can feel the mood uh, it uh, kind of it creates and you know that living your life 
with this negative explanatory style can be really dreadful and um, you know covered uh, with some kind of dark blanket um, you don't want to actually have in your life so how to change your negative explanatory style and make it more positive so one of the techniques that is often used uh, to change um, this uh, explanatory style is uh, reframing and um, you know actually the name is uh, quite um, well quite literal because um, it's really about putting a different frame around a certain situation so if you imagine a negative explanatory style as a um, dull black uh, frame you put around something you can actually see what it can do but then imagine that around the same picture you put uh, something that's really you know like glowing it, it might be a golden frame or something in um, you know silly or funny colors uh, um, you know it might be something you know pink or bright uh, yellow you know something that kinds of cheers up uh, everyone and uh, lightens up the mood so that's what you want to do if your explanatory style is really negative um, so how you can do that you can actually challenge yourself and every time you catch yourself um you know <laughs> trying to put this black um hideous frame around something you might make yourself stop and you know thinking about ways how to put something more colorful something more positive around it so I already uh, used this uh, you know um, date rejection uh, as an example so you know if you ask someone on a date and the person says no um, then instead of uh, you know putting this uh, um, I am an unlovable person uh, frame around it try something um, you know that represents this more uh, cheerful possibility uh, something like okay so it um, you know wasn't the best time or you know I might try um, again sometimes when I feel better um, you know something like okay well so that happens um, uh, at least I'm not investing my time in something that might actually um, be, uh, you know, without any 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 deeper sense. So that's one thing. Or if uh, uh, it might be the same if you're doing your business and you're sending a, sending an offer uh, to your uh, prospective client, and that client says okay like okay no they reject uh, that offer because it's um, too expensive or um, you know you don't have uh, all the uh, all the expertise that they are looking for or whatever um, you know so well yeah um, like the the black frame the negative explanatory style might push you towards um, you know following kind of explanation like okay I'm just a big loser uh, you know I should go uh, and work for someone else it was really stupid to think I could do it on my own you know these kind of uh, negative thoughts that's what you don't want because you know it's really not based on um, uh, something uh, valid if it's just like one feedback so um, what you might want to do is to uh, change your explanatory style and you know challenge yourself make it um, uh, make it a race or, or make it a, um, a brainstorming with yourself and try to find more ways how to put a more positive uh, frame around it 
uh, like, okay, so uh, perhaps uh, we weren't clear about uh, the situation the clients a client is in uh, before, or um, you know, well, so maybe a client needs uh, someone else. Maybe it's a bad chemistry, and my ideal client uh, is just uh, right behind the corner, no, or something like that. Or okay, it's a great um, it's a great opportunity to ask for some feedback and uh, improve my offers, improve the way how I how I interview my uh, my prospective clients and uh, how to write um, an offer that's really amazing and uh, you know it's a it's a way how to get even better results right so that's basically it that's uh, what I have to say today uh, regarding explanatory styles and uh, reframing I hope you find it useful and uh, I really challenge you to, um, you know, try and go and try and change your explanatory style towards this more positive, um, yeah, positive uh, side. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. It was great to see you, and I wish you a great. Day. Take care. Bye bye.